Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, just bring some images from a memory stick onto your computer or an SD card, not a memory stick. Here's the SD card. I'm putting it into the SD card slot of my computer. Uh, on the iMacs at school, they are on the back of the, or in the back of the computer. Um, you'll need to have a look to see it. Uh, on my machine, and we'll probably have it on yours, is that image capture will open up. I would like you to quit image capture. So just straight away go to here, or the shortcut as it is here. That little symbol is for command. So command Q. All right, so now we know that we're in Finder because we have Finder at the top of the screen here. And I'm going to create a new window that shows me what's going on. I can just go new Finder window or here, Command N. All right, now I've got lots of stuff down the side here. You won't have as much as, as what I have here. But I've got this one under devices. It's untitled. Um, yours might have a bit of a name in there like, I don't know, Nikon or something like that that I may have named your card. In here is our folders where our photos are living. Now, this one here, these are the, I know this is the folder that I've, I want my f photos from. Um, you might only have one folder, you might have lots of folders, um, but we want these photos on the desktop in a folder that is called your name. Right click, uh, which is control click on a Mac, new folder. I don't have to click in there or do anything, it's already assumed that I want to change the name of this folder. Uh, I'm going to change it to Jamie Cummins and Exercise one, and I'm going to click and drag over these photographs that I want. I'm going to drag them into this folder, and you just see that ping that means that I've just moved them into this folder or copied them. Now, if I double click on here, it'll pop up a new window, and here I can see on my desktop. And I have put in these photographs and these are from a trip away but yours are going to be very creative images of your time inside the classroom. Uh, you may have noticed then that the images just pops, popped up. <clears throat> While the image is selected, if I hit the space bar, it pops up. If I hit the space bar again, it goes away. I can go to the next one, space bar, or if I just want to see what the next image is, I can hit the up arrow and it will show me the next one. It's a really cool way of seeing images on a Mac.